In this video, we're going to carve the top two segments of the bird's body so that by the end, the back and head both form smooth curves. This is the goldfinch body, looking from the front end on view after carving. I want to draw your attention to something first before we begin carving. You know how I said we're going to leave the high points untouched, that's the pencil lines. Well in this video we are going to break that rule very slightly. At the back of the neck, we're going to carve a crisp junction between the head and the back, forming a kind of crease that runs all the way across the top two segments of the bird's back. To do this, we will have to carve away a very small area of the central high point, as you can see here. I'll show you the swallow body for comparison. Here is the front end on view. And now turning it over, you can see where the crease is formed across the back of the neck. Looking from the profile view, you'll see that the high point is more or less intact. But looking from the top view, you'll see where we've removed a small area of the central high point. Again, I'll be demonstrating with the goldfinch body, as the footage came out a little bit better. But the processes are exactly the same, and I'll be showing you the swallow body for comparison. This time, I will show you the swallow body at the end, after I've taught you through the steps with the goldfinch. There is also more footage in video 6 of the carved bodies, in case you want to refer back to that as well. Just like in the last video, we're going to carve downhill towards the tail. But first, we're going to carve towards the neck, which actually means carving into end grain. Carving into end grain is quite tricky and we don't do it very often. So I'll guide you through what you have to do. Once again, use the whittling hold. Use your index finger as an anchor. And brace the back of the blade with your thumb. Start by carving towards the neck as shown. This will leave a curly tail of shavings. but keep carving. You want it to look something like this at the end of step one. Now, turn the body around and carve downhill towards the tail. This is very similar to in the previous video.
Once you've finished carving towards the tail, it should look something like this. The back now forms a smooth curve. Here is the back end on view. Now we're going to carve downhill along the neck, from the top of the head to the base of the neck. Use the whittling hold. And shave off a bit at a time. You can brace the piece against your body if you want to. And just let those shavings build up. Try and resist the urge to rip them off. Now you can tidy up the neck. Alternate between two carving directions. First, carve from the back towards the neck. And then carve from the top of the head towards the neck base. Keep switching between the two directions until a crease starts to form. Next, carve downhill from the top of the head towards the beak. At this point, it is starting to take shape. A smooth curve is starting to form, but there may be a bit of a peak in the middle of the neck. A bit more carving will blend this out. Alternate between two carving directions. Carve downhill along the neck, Then carve downhill towards the beak. Once you have finished carving the first top segment, it should look something like this. Remember, this is the goldfinch body. I will show you the swallow body in a minute. Here is the front end on view. Notice the smooth curves. And here is the back end on view. The back forms a smooth curve. Here is the top view. The outside shape hasn't changed. 
because the high points on the profile are still intact. Now all you need to do is repeat the process on the opposite side. So that the two halves are symmetrical. As I said before, you will need to remove a small area of the high point where the two segments meet to continue that crisp junction all the way around. Now I will show you the swallow body for comparison. Here is the swallow after steps one and two. If you want to, you can repeat steps one and two on the opposite side before moving on to steps three to six. Here is the back end on view at this stage. It looks pretty much symmetrical. Here is the front end on view after steps three to six. This is what you're aiming for after you've finished roughing out the body. There is more footage of the carved body in video six, in case you want to refer back to that as well.